Hey guys, Jenny here and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, I showed you a video of how to make some Nutella brownies. And today, I'm gonna show you the cheesecake version of that. We'll be making some amazing Nutella cheesecake bars. And if this is something that you'd like, just stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Now let's get into the video. So in a big bowl, just combine your graham cracker crumbs and melted butter and give it a stir until it resembles wet sand. Now this looks about right. Take an 8x8 square inch tin lined with parchment paper and just transfer all your crumbs in. The parchment paper will help you release the cheesecake from the tin later so don't skip it. Now this will be the base of our cheesecake. Just try to make it as even as possible and press it to form a crust. You can use any clean flat surface to do this so a spatula does the job well can also use a glass, a measuring cup, so whichever works for you. And once you're happy with how it looks like, we're going to bake this in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven for about 10 minutes. So while that's baking, let's start making our cheesecake base. So in another clean bowl, just dump all of your cream cheese in. So make sure that your cream cheese is at room temperature. Now we will just beat this cream cheese until it's just soft and creamy. This wouldn't take so long if your cream cheese is at room temperature. So once in a while, you may have to scrape the sides of the bowl to make sure that all of the cream cheese is getting mixed. So just do that whenever you see fit. Now we'll add in our sugar and just continue beating. You'll notice that it will get creamier as you beat it with the sugar. And again, if you notice that there are lumps on the sides, just feel free to use your spatula. Now we add in our one egg and just beat until it's one homogeneous mixture. And this is pretty much the base of our cheesecake. It's super creamy and super smooth. And now it's time to transfer this in our prepared base. Now this part's easy. You just need to dump all of your cheesecake batter in. Use your spatula to get every last drop. And then using the same spatula, just try to make the top as even as possible like this. And of course, this is not a Nutella cheesecake bar if there's no Nutella. I have measured out 100 grams of Nutella in this bowl. Um, it's quite creamy, but if you find that your Nutella is quite dense, um, you can pop it in the microwave for a few seconds and then stir it until you get to the right consistency. And then what we are going to do is dump dollops of these Nutella on top of our cheesecake like this. Then once you have all of the Nutella on top of your cheesecake or cheesecake batter, you want to get a toothpick or a skewer or a knife and run it on top of the batter to make swirly patterns. You don't really want to overdo it, uh, but there's no right or wrong way. You just want to make sure that there are streaks of white batter and streaks of Nutella to make it all pretty. Once you're happy with what it looks like, we are now going to bake this in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven for about 30 minutes or until the cheesecake is set. When it comes out of the oven, let it cool to room temperature for about an hour and then refrigerate it for at least 3 hours before serving. Once you're ready to serve them, you can cut them as big or as small as you like. I made about 16 squares in this recipe. 
Now here is a trick to making clean edged cheesecake. Every time you make a slice, some of those cheesecake are left on your knife. If you leave it like that and make another cut, it's going to make a messy slice. So take a clean paper towel and wipe your knife clean before making another cut. And that's it guys! I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that notification bell below so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. Thanks for watching! I'll see you on my next video. Bye!